All right, this morning I come out to Calumet Beach. It's just across the border and uh, between Indiana and Illinois. Uh, I come out here for a couple different reasons. Yeah, a couple spots in mind. Um, there's a jetty or a pier that heads out. We'll try and get a long exposure on it. And we'll see, there's a boat dock too. I might try to hit the boat dock. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna walk there or drive there, but there's a couple different spots out here I'm gonna try and uh, take a photo of, see what happens. Clouds are moving kind of fast over the top, so it'll make nice for a long exposure. And it's kind of gloomy gray blue skies. Uh, we had storms that just came through, so probably, probably turn this black and white. But oh, I'll head out to the pier and see when I get there. All right, so what I did, I set, uh, set up the camera. I got a composition already. Uh, coming down the pier, I'm gonna go uh, shoot in portrait, straight down the pier, kind of elongate the pier a little bit, but I wanna get enough of the sky because there's so much motion in the sky with the clouds moving over so fast. So I think I'm gonna go with a 10 stop. Right now, the settings on the camera are at a quarter second. Um, with the 10 stop that should be, bring me somewhere around four, four and a half minutes. So that'll get the clouds to, as fast as they're moving, they'll really be streaky over the top and it'll completely glass the, the water. So I'll show you what I got on the back of the camera real quick and then uh, I'll get set up and see what happens. All right, so I said it'll elongate the pier um, there's another wall in the background, but I'm going to take that out. But with those clouds moving over so fast, uh, it's really going to streak out the clouds. And the good thing is they're kind of heading straight out over the pier. They're a little bit south, so it's going to come in at kind of an angle. But for the most part, it should, it should streak straight, for the most part, straight over the pier. All right, so I got that one in the bag. What I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna drop it down to just putting a three stop on there. And that's gonna bring me down to about four or five seconds. I'm gonna shoot it at four, keep it a little bit darker. Uh, but that should show movement in the clouds uh, without completely turning them into just pillows. So uh, otherwise it'll just be a white streak across the top. I want a couple different options when I get into post. We'll see what happens. Um, but right now I'm gonna take that shot and we'll see how it turns out.
Oh. All right, I'm done at this spot. Oh, that's, uh, I got another spot or two I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm gonna head back to the car. I'm actually gonna drive there. Wind's picking up a little bit. Uh, I almost dumped my uh, video camera. So it went over, but I caught it. Got a little lucky. But yeah, I'm gonna head back to the car and uh, drive. It's probably only a half mile or so, but there's not really any good way to, uh, to walk there. Um, you have to go around like the Coast Guard station and everything else, so. Uh, not 100% familiar with the area either. So I think it'd be better if I just put it in GPS and drove there. What? I'll see you when we get there. All right. The sun's starting to come out a little bit, leaving some uh, nice little open views uh, where the rays are coming through. Um, I'll tell you, you can't get no closer to your composition or to the place where you're gonna shoot than right here. I'm literally parked literally parked right at the spot. So uh, there's some sun rays coming through now. Um, I got a couple different things. There's multiple different choices that I could have here. Uh, it's got three different, three different ramps that you could actually dock a boat at. So there's uh, four different walkways so it appears to get out there. There's barrier walls, there's, there's sun rays coming through. So I'm gonna set up and find a couple different things. I'm probably gonna shoot this a couple different ways and uh, just see what I like or just have different options. Um, I got a couple things in mind on how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna get set up real quick and catch the sun rays before they go away. And uh, I'll be back with you in one second. All right, what I did right now, I mean, the sun's starting to poke out through the, through the clouds right now a little bit. Uh, we got some clearing skies off to the uh, off to the north and to the west that are pushing through, which is nice because we're getting all these sun rays. So I actually, I'll flip you around. I actually set up, I'm all the way down in the water in between these two. And that's, for the most part, that's the composition uh, shooting off into those sun rays in the distance. And set it up it's got a 10 stop and filter on there and I set it up for a uh, 25 second exposure you can see the clearing skies coming in oh we still got all these rays pushing through over here though and that that's just I love that so I'm gonna try and rush around and get a couple different shots and uh, every shot that I do get I'll put up and I'm not sure how many I'm going to get uh, before all this clears through and the sun rays stop, but I don't want to miss all this, all these rays coming through. So I said, I'm going to run to a couple different spots. I'm going to take some, take some shots and I'll put them all on. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.
I'm panicking just a little bit. So one thing I've learned through all this years I've been shooting is to not panic, settle down and take your time. So I felt like I was rushing compositions just to catch the light. But what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna move over. There's another dock over here. And the good thing about this one is that the uh, all the tines, everything, are submerged underwater. So I'm gonna set up down there, see if I can get something so with a clearer background and uh, set it up for a really long exposure. Try to capture more of like a, I don't know, fine artsy kind of thing. There's a lot of geese over here though and I don't want to get attacked. So <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, if anything, I know for a fact I'm gonna edit this in black and white, but I'll uh, get set up, and let you see what I got. All right, so what I did, I set up over here. Uh, I'm real close to the water. Uh, I'm kind of, I blocked most of the shore with the dock going out and the tines. Uh, I can't really get a clear composition because the shoreline has a lot of industry um, all across on the other side. So I'll see what I can do in post. I might be able to get that out. Um, might be able to clean it up a little bit. But right now I got a two and a half minute exposure going on with the 15 stop ND. And after I get done, I'll put it up. Let me know what you think. All right, well, I finished up at this spot. So I'm gonna go back to the car. I might hit one more spot, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at it, see what it looks like, bud. Oh, I ran around like a chicken for a little bit. It's head cut off. So <laughs> hopefully uh, I got some good stuff. Once I settled down and kind of figured out a decent composition and how I wanted to shoot it it was it seemed like a lot better but you never know sometimes that'll surprise you uh, some of the ones where I was running around might be better than one I just took I might not be able to edit it the way I want to I'm not sure so I have to see what happens when I get back into a uh, lightroom and see what I can take out and what I have to leave in and kind of what my plan is going in could be completely different than what it turns out to be but i'll head to this other spot and i'll see you when we get there all right well that's going to be the end of the video uh wind's picking up quite a bit i got to this next spot and the uh, conditions aren't really what I want to what I want to capture it with. Um, I kind of need a little bit more moody skies. The skies are clearing. Um, it's just it's just not going to you know set up the way I want it to. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, all the extra pictures that I took uh, at every spot, 
I'll, I'll put them up after at the end of the video. Like always, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you coming along and let's see the process from behind the scenes. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.